Hey guys, today we're going to do Avondale Brewing Mill City White. Our first can ever. Also, we neglected to mention this in the past couple of episodes, but you will notice a slightly different background. We changed filming locations again. However, I think this one's going to be pretty consistent. We said that the last time, but this one, this time we mean it. Yeah. They were onto our operation and we had to change trade. Yeah, so we had to get the hell out of Dodge. Yep. So we're here now, and I think, I think it's a safe spot. And everyone, this is a local beer for us. This is local, like Very local. really local. Like I live in Avondale. Yeah. Yeah. And he's got the scars to prove it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the Mill City White is our version of a traditional Belgian, Belgian style wit beer. This refreshing, refreshingly crisp wheat ale is brewed with fresh cracked coriander and caraco. It is hopped with curacao. Fuck. Yeah, that's a yeah. It is I thought that's supposed to be curacao. Yeah, but they didn't have the little yeah whatever. It is hopped. Wait, with, that wouldn't make any sense. Well, that wouldn't make a difference. It is hopped with sriracha ace. To add a touch of lemon zest and condition with a generous amount of Valencia orange peels to add a robust orange finish. I don't like that. I feel like they're shooting for the moon on this one. First, I can. feel like they're going real highbrow with their concept. First can ever on the show. Well, Just you know, don't touch it. Try not to touch my it too ex- much. My experience with Avondale. Has been that it's when I get their stuff, incredibly pale beer. What? Well, it's a wit. Yeah. So oh, it's, okay, it is a wheat beer. When yeah, I it is. when I get stuff of theirs on draft, uh, it's usually really good. Dog and dog. when I get it in bottles, it's usually awful. Well, not awful, just boring. And then this, Carbonated. I've never had any of their stuff in a can. Eh, it's got the dog. It's fart. got a dog fart. It's got guys. a little bit. And it's not too bad. It smells like milk. This better like not taste wheat, like sour milk. That wheat thing, the wheat is really, really strong, but it's, it's giving it sort of a milky thing. All right. Actually, air freshener. Yeah! Air freshener. Air freshener. Like cheap air freshener, like yeah. you get at Fred's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oof. Hmm. What? What did I just drink? Was it Sprite? It's too bitter to be Sprite. Yeah, it's... It's way over-carbonated. Yeah. I don't I don't really it just kind of tastes like tonic water. It kind of tastes like tonic water with a little bit of, like, wit extract. Yeah. Yeah. There's not much. There's not much beer here. No. I'm like I'm trying to I'm, I'm trying to come up with something to say about it, but there's really not much there to say. It's no. pretty fucking flavorless. It smells way the shit stronger than it tastes. Yeah. This actually tastes a good bit if you really think about it, like a rice macro brew. No. Uh, well, I would say this is more in line with something something like a like Blue Moon. Yeah, but it doesn't have that coconutty gross thing that like Blue Moon and a couple of those other like mainstream wits we've had. Yeah. Macro wits. Macro wits. So the carbonation is really overpowering me and uh, it's just Yeah. I don't know if that's what's making me go fuck this or if it's the beer itself. Well I think that it's probably the carbonation doing it and the beer not putting up a (laughs) test. That's like Uh, it's like the carbonation is going Man, fuck this beer, and the beer is going. And it's leaving, yeah, it's, and it's fuck leaving. Me. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and it's leaving my mouth very dry, and just here, have some crackers and moist in your mouth. Yeah, I'll moisten my mouth with these crackers. With those dry ass crackers. Mm. Hmm. There's no like banana or clove. Not really. No. I feel like there's none of the stuff that makes wheat beer a great style. This is just like a very boring wheat beer. It does there's not really any of the traditional like wit things that normally like make a wit stand out. No, yeah, I'm not tasting like orange peel. Mm-mm. No. 
Some wits kind of have like a little bit of banana thing going on. None of that. Not with this. It's just like soda water with a little bit of wit extract. Mm -hmm. And oddly fucking bitter. And I wonder if that's the carbonation making it bitter. Like tonic water. I mean, and it's, it's got just, the air freshener nose. Seriously, that is... Is that going to be the new thing that, for this time around? Is going to be uh, air freshener nose? The, the nose on this I mean, he sucks. nailed it. It does. It smells like a cheap-ass air freshener. Cheap-ass, like, flowery air freshener. Mm -hmm. You know how gross those fucking things smell. Yeah. Yeah. No, you go, and you go spot on. And you go into, like, you know, a doctor's office where it's, like, old ladies work there. Mm-hmm. And they've got the potpourri sitting out. Mm -hmm. And it yeah. smells like this shit. And you're like, man, I just can't get the fuck out of here fast enough. Yep. Yeah. And then they're like, ha, 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 you live in Alabama, so you don't have insurance, so you can go ahead and leave. <laughs> but you know what? I would like to state <laughs> that I want someone to make good beer here. Yeah. So if anything, I have a positive bias. Like, I, ha I have kind of some ideas because of stuff that I've tried, don't get me wrong. But I want us to have a world class beer in our backyard. So if somebody's making well, it, I hope we find it. Yeah. But I'm not going to hold out any hope. You know what I'm saying? On draft, I'm totally in Avondale's corner. Yeah. Really? Because I haven't had any of their stuff draft. I've yeah. had the Vanilla Fant Porter. Vanilla Fant on draft. Fan yeah. It's good. It's the Miss good. Fancy's Triple. Really, 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 really good. It's really good on draft. Both of those in a bottle, boring as fuck. I don't know what it is. I brought, I brought um, the Vanilla Fant Porter. Yeah. In a bottle to D&D &D one, one time. And I was raving about it because I had it at J. Clyde. And I was like, oh man, this is going to be great. Poured it out for everybody. And you all just looked at me like I had two heads. You're like, this isn't any good. I don't get it. But no, yeah, there's stuff. I, I'll vouch for that. There's stuff but you know draft what? is really, really good. We don't have a draft beer in front of us. Um, no, we got we a, a can. And this sucks. Yeah. Avondale's Mill City White. Ball. Sucks. Ball. <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> Zero red stripes out of five. <laughs> <laughs>